Jamie Weston at Spring Mountain Capital use a private equity method to value companies, to find undervalued companies. Can you explain your methodology? Sure. Well, Spring Mountain Capital is an alternative investment manager. We have three lines of business. We're in fixed income, hedge funds, and I help run the private equity group. Within private equity, we're looking to, to find what we call the gaps. There's an increasing specialization of private equity investors out there, whether it's by geography focus, whether it's by stage of investing, industry, or even subsegment of industry. And what that does, what we find it does, on the particular the smaller cap companies, is, is find deals that fall between the gaps. One of the tenets of private equity is this private company, but in our instance, we have the flexibility to actually invest in public companies. And these are really nano cap, shouldn't be public, public companies out there with low market valuations, uh, low capitalizations. But the problem is they actually have uh, trouble finding financing. In the downturn, the hedge funds uh, realized that being in the pipe, in, the pipe financing business was a bad business because there's no liquidity at the end. So uh, a lot of these companies have a hard time finding financing. Now, most of these companies probably shouldn't be financed, but there are a lot of companies out there that, uh, that have the growth opportunities behind them to allow someone like us to come in there and structure a private equity-like deal in a public company pipe. Well, one stock that you found, which I suppose fell through the gaps, is Gigatronics. This yes. is ticker G-I-G-A. It's a $6 million company. Tell me why you like it. It's a test and measurement business, and it also has uh, RF um, components for the uh, uh, enterprise and, and government markets. And we put uh, capital into the business to help them um, develop a next generation signal generation uh, product, which is used in the defense industry to, uh, to test radar capabilities. And this is a, a much cheaper solution to what's out there right now, much more efficient, and allows them to do things quicker as well. So uh, we think that once this, this product is in the market, which should be soon, hopefully, uh, that this company is going to grow rapidly. All right. You also like APGI. This is the American Power Group. This is a $60 million company moving up in the world. Exactly. Trades a little bit over a dollar uh, a share. It's up 55% year to date. It's had a nice run. Right. Why do you want to stick with it? Well, the, the business itself um, provides dual fuel conversion kit technology to allow diesel engines to run on diesel uh, and natural gas. So it's taking advantage of the big wave of natural gas in this, in this, uh, in this country and the perceived low cost of that natural gas. Uh, most of the uh, uh, utility for this product is on the Class 8 diesel engines to allow them to run on diesel as well as natural gas. Uh, and based on where the diesel equivalent price for, for diesel uh, gas and for natural gas is right now, um, you can save 25 to 30 percent per year on your cost, uh, on your fuel savings. And, and the fuel savings cost is the number one cost for the trucking industry right now. All right. Thanks a lot, Jamie. Okay. Pleasure. Thank you for watching the street.